Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, apologies that this is a little bit late, but now uh, you get a bit of a pre-match preview to this game. So let's call it a pre-match preview. It's old man G here back again for, in, in my opinion, a must-win game. Sheffield United versus Manchester United match preview. Before we get into it, remember if you're new to the channel, remember to like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, you know, on X and smash that notification button. Latest Manchester United, ooh, bell up pump here, there, 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 there. Uh, whatever it's up it's, it's, it's above my head okay click that that, that bell icon subscribe um, and get involved in the community um as well so um no excuses no excuses no excuses no excuses no excuses that is the title um of this match preview because there aren't any excuses because um manchester united were two two games in hand in uh one against sheffield and one against burnley relegation for the sides for the bottom of the table we have the quality um, to beat these sides. And the reality is that if we were to beat Sheffield and Burnley, um, if, let's say we were to play our Burnley game at some of, like, I don't know, next week or whatever, we would be only two points behind Liverpool. We would be, I think, that would put us in, I think, uh, yeah, second. We'd be second. We'd be second. Um, so, and if we win this game, from what I can see on the table, we'd, we'd certainly be like fifth or sixth, if I recall, obviously with the game in hand still. So this is a big game. Sheffield United um, have not won a game all season. Okay. They're not great. Chris, they were great last season, but I think the loss of um, Dean Henderson, um, who's obviously back with us, as well as none of the key defenders, made it difficult for them. Um, and they've only got a point, although they're still backing Wilder. Um, would I be surprised if Sheffield United decided to use a win against Manchester United to steer their season? And give them confidence no i won't be surprised and this is why Oli Gunnar Solskjaer for me really has to go out and attack this Sheffield United side um Sheffield United's problem fundamentally is that they're not they're not scoring enough goals um and they're not um and they're conceding quite a bit it's simple as that i don't expect us to go to Sheffield and slap them four five this is this is again a narrative that um that i think needs to be needs to be addressed <laughs> they're not getting slapped by teams four five no yes at the bottom of the table but there there have been a lot of games where it's been quite close so i think it's unreasonable to expect us to just go to sheffield and just put four or five past them i wouldn't be surprised if it was just a simple two nil for example that's perfectly fine the most important thing for me about this game is is basically getting the results that's the most important thing um so what do i think is going to happen well this is a starting 11 um let's just get straight into it really um, David De Gea, as you can see, um, is in goal. Um, now, there is an argument that for Dean Henderson, um, you could put Dean Henderson um, against, against his former club. I wouldn't be necessarily opposed to it, um, but David De Gea hasn't done anything wrong. Um, but there's all, there could be an argument that, like, especially with Leeds at the weekend, and this, this, is, the, this, is, the, this is, for me, this is quite important, is that, we do need to have a bit of rotation, which is why, if you see this this squad here, um, I think that this is what this is probably what's going to line up. I don't think Cavani is going to be fit enough to start from what I can, from what um, I don't think. He, no, I, don't, I think the press conference he wasn't going to be available. So Cavani, um, and we'll, we've obviously, unfortunately, uh, Cavani is is uh, has been charged by the FA. Uh, more on that later. Um, he's not going to be available. Um, Martial, however, will be available anyway. Back to the keep situation. So, if you're going to start Henderson, this is definitely a game to start Henderson. I just suspect that um, that Oli will still pick still pick David De Gea, and we do need to think about the Leeds game in the weekend. That's why I think that I don't want us to make a lot of changes because we we know that when we make tons of changes, it can cause to be a bit disjointed. I think we should keep only make a handful, maybe two, maximum three, and keep the core. Um, base of the squad um, intact, um, win the game, hopefully earlier on, and then we can then bring in the changes. Um, so De Gea obviously in goal for me, but I, so I, it's De Gea or Henderson for me either way. Um, Wan-Bissaka is going to start. Um, I wish we had another solid right-back option. Um, I don't know why we can't say, for example, play Brandon Williams there, maybe, um, who's right foot, so why does it come at left back? Um, because wan looks really, really tired. Um, and it's just not been great this last month plus or so. Um, whether that's because of the formation, I don't know. And I am have a feeling if Sheffield United are going to the target, they might, they might target him. Um, I also feel like he needs to be ready for Leeds. So if there was a way to rest him, but Dallow is obviously not here. 
Um, so the only other options are Fosu Mensa um, and um, Williams, both academy players. Um, and, and Ole seems to prefer using Brandon on the left. So you could probably put Fosu Mensa there if you wanted to change things. That's another option. I wouldn't, again, be opposed to it because, for me, the Leeds game at Old Trafford is going to be very, very difficult. And that, for me, is... is, is, is this should be an easy dub. The Leeds game, not so much. And we need to have all our players fit because it's only going to be, what, two, three days rest before we play against Leeds, which is less than of other 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 teams, you know. So um, if Fosamenta comes in for Wambasaka, I'm not I don't have a problem with, but knowing Oli, Wambasaka will come in. Um here's the, now the centre back situation is interesting. Maguire and Bailly, one of our centre backs needs to rest, I think. I I I don't doubt that um Solskjaer is gonna play um Maguire and off against Leeds. Um although maybe this is a good way to start a new centre back pairing. Um, but for me, you've got to bring either Bayer or Twan Sieben. I put Bayer in just because he's my fa my favourites, but we need to rest his centre-backs. This centre-back pairing is persistently played, um, and we need to we need to rest them. And I don't and I don't think you can blame Eric Bay completely for the Spurs uh, uh, Spurs loss at Old Trafford. We've got two right now fit centre-backs on the bench. They need to start having games. Okay, you can't just use them for the cup competitions or the big things. They need to start playing games, okay? Because I, I just don't... I, I, it's not possible for Lindelof and Maguire to play all the time and to not get tired, not to have mistakes. So that needs to happen. Um, I think Luke Shaw will come and start. Like, he's obviously been out for a bit, and I think it'd be, and he only played okay against Manchester City. Um, again, not opposed to Alex Tellers coming on. I just think that... Um, and, and I do think we'll, we, sh we should play 4-2-3-1, four, well, four, by the way, or a 4 three, three equivalent. Um, but yeah, short, short to come in. Um, okay, as far as DM goes, um, I think I don't see any reason why Matic can't be used. Um, he's not played for a while. I don't think this is a game for Scott McTominay and, um, to, to come in. Um, you, could play, you could play Fred in this role again because we might miss the dynamism, but... If you have a midfield of Matic, Pogba, or slash Van der Beek and Fernandes, I think that should still be okay. Again, giving Fred some much-needed rest for the game against Leeds, why I think he must start. Would I be opposed to Fred starting? No, but has Matic started in a while? No. Put Matic in. You know, we're not going to have major problems um, with the Sheffield United front line. You know, they've only scored, I think, five goals in um, 12 games. So they're not going to be a massive goal threat. So we shouldn't really be concerned. About it. We should actually go out and attack them. Um, obviously, as you can see, Pogba van der Pogba slash Van der Beek is um, is is there. Um, I think Pogba should start against Leeds. Um, so you could not make an argument that Van der Beek again comes in. So Matic Van der Beek again, not really opposed with Pogba to come on. Um, but maybe it might be better to have Pogba from the start and then sort of take him off after sixty minutes. Fernandez obviously in front, um, giving us that drive. Um, again, I'd really, I really, I think it should start, um, but I really think that I wouldn't want him to see him play the full game because I think he needs to be fit and ready to go against Leeds. Um, so you could do a scenario where you have um, you play Matic, Pogba in this position, and Van and Van der Beek here. That's also a possibility. Um, I guess what I'm saying this time, it's it's quite flexible. Uh, but the emphasis is that I do want us to ring changes because I want our players to be rested for Leeds. Um, because for me, that is the bigger game. We should win this game. I don't care if we win it 1-0, 2-0, etc. But we should definitely win this game. Um, if we lose this game, um, then to be honest, any talk about... I know people around are talking about title challenges, stuff like that. I don't think Manchester United are in a, are in a title challenge. Um, not with the backing that this board continues to give. Um, we needed several more players before that's the case. Um, but we can certainly close the gap. That's what I'm saying. Let's let's at least close the gap on the cities, on the Liverpools. Let's improve on next season um, and just close the gap. And if we can do that and hopefully get a trophy this season in a domestic cup, then that's progress in my opinion. Um, obviously, you've got Rashford and Greenwood um, either side. Um, I think that's how Oli will probably start. But to be honest, I'd rather have Rashford on the uh, on the right because he was actually doing okay. And then I'd have Greenwood, um, I'd have Martial on the left, and then I'd have Greenwood up top. That's actually how I would I would start, really. I would. Uh, I don't think Oli will do that because Martial wants to be the number nine. Um, 
but that's what I think you should do. You should do. I think Greenwood plays a lot better through the middle. Marshall plays a lot better coming in from the left, um, and Rashford is looking okay on the right. That's how I would sort it out. But I doubt Oli will, will go down that line. Um, and I think this is a good game for Marshall to really get on the goal sheet. Um, he's, his confidence looks a bit sh sh um, sh shattered, and I think that if Marshall can get maybe one, maybe two goals, maybe a penalty, um, where you know we're in business, where we're, we're definitely in business. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you guys think about that lineup. Let me know in the comments. Remember, guys, to like the vid, 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 share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. And what are my predictions? Just finally, um, two nil. 2-0. I know there are a lot of men that are saying we're going to slap Sheffield. I've looked at Sheffield United's results. They've not been slapped. They've often been unlucky. They've been 1-0s, etc. Um, so um, um, their issue has been a lack of lack of uh, goal for it. And the big issue from Manchester from Manchester United's point of view is really um, set pieces. I don't want to see any of the zonal marking stuff where we seem to be conceding goal after goal after goal. We have to have learned by that. If Sheffield are going to get a goal in this game, it's going to be from set. It's going to be from set pieces. The only positive I can take from us conceding early is that I don't think Sheffield's United's defence of goal is that good. Is that good that we um, that we can't score goals? And as was evident last season, we beat them. I think when we went, um, I can't remember. They, yeah, they came to Old Trafford, I think, and we beat them uh, quite comfortably. I think it was three nil. Um, of a Matic, Pogba, and Bruno midfield. And I think then we went away to Sheffield uh, and it was 3 3. We were down 2 0, although that should be emphasized that Phil Jones was playing as a centre back, who will not be playing as a centre back this time. Um, and then we, I think we came back from 2 0 to 3 2 with the likes of Greenwood and Brandon Williams coming on and doing the business. Um, and then they, 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 they scored a late equaliser. Um, so let's hope that that doesn't happen. Um, I certainly think that. Uh, no Phil Jones means that we at least we at least have one goal in this game. But let's see what happens. Anyway, guys, I'm feeling to the channel to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Get your predictions in. Here's cross, fingers crossed for the win, um, because it's gonna put us in a very, very, very good position um come the end of this of this game week, and it will give us good momentum going into the Leeds game, which is a must must win because i'm still old enough to remember the rivalry with leeds and it was big it was massive it was huge we cannot lose to leeds at the weekend have a nice day everyone and cheers